So, Shannon, how surprised are you that Brady seems to be thriving in Bruce Arians' offense? First and foremost, this is not Bruce Arians' offense. This is, this is Bruce Arians' offense that's morphed into Tom Brady's offense. Look at the, uh, Bruce Arians' offense does not throw the ball to the running backs and the tight end. Here's the targets in week one. Running backs and tight end was 15. Week two, 18. Week three, 21. Week four, 24. 50% of his throws this year have been to the running back and tight end. Fifth highest in the NFL. Last year was 36%. 21st in the NFL. Only Drew Brees has thrown more running b balls to the running back than Tom Brady, who averages 10 targets per game. Oh, he's thriving. Okay. He's 20th in QBR behind Gardner Minshew, Phillip Rivers, Baker Mayfield, Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's 21st in attempts. He's 22nd in completions. The only reason these numbers look good is because he's throwing the ball so many times a game, 39 times a game. Big-time throws. But what about when you give big-time throws to the other team? Skip, stop this. This, this needs to stop. This is not, this is not Bruce Arians' offense. The big-time throws, pushing the ball down the field. He's not pushing the ball down the field. Yes, completion percentage. Skip loves QBR. I noticed when Tom Brady's QBR, Tom Brady was number pro football focus, ranked him last year number one, the first quarter poll, number one in QBR. They ain't mentioned QBR. They didn't <laughs> mention completion percentage. They didn't mention yards per attempt. Now you got to try to find a way to prop him up. Big time throws. Well, what about those pick sixes? What about those INTs? Are they big time throws also? Skip, Tom Brady is playing well. But to, to, to try to put him up there is like, He's playing as well as Aaron Rodgers. He's playing well as uh, 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 Russell Wilson or, or, or Patrick mm -hmm. Mahomes or Josh Allen. That's not true. It's okay. But this notion that he's having this historical season mm -hmm. is not true based on the numbers. Hmm. Interesting. You done? I'm done. Well, Finish I'm two. about to unleash what Tom Brady has done so far in Bruce Arians' offense is spectacular to the point it's flying completely under the radar, especially by you. He has so far 16 big-time down-the-field throws. That ranks easily number one in the National Football League. The last time he had 15-plus big-time throws in a season was back in 2011. This man is 43 years of age playing in a brand new offense and system with brand new play caller, coordinator, head coach who's an offensive guru, and advisor who's an offensive guru. It's all new and all different, and he's accomplished that at the quarter pole. Pro Football Focus grades him out as the third best quarterback in pro football through four games. And anybody that watched him play know he's not better right now, Skip, mm. than Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, or, or Patrick Mahomes. Mm. Everybody knows that, Skip. Mm. That's not, it's not even close. So, Stephen Ruiz, who uh, breaks down film for, for the win, writes about this and says, this is Arians' offense through and through. He had his doubts also. He's been what he breaks down all the tape. It's the same exact offense we saw uh, Jameis Winston running in 2019. Same we saw Carson Palmer run in Arizona. Same offense that young Andrew Luck ran in Indianapolis. Arians has changed nothing, says Stephen Ruiz, I or disagree. Tom Brady has changed nothing. But he makes the point. To your point. <clears throat> The running back routes, the swing passes were always there for Jameis. Jameis just didn't take them. The, the skip because in this offense, you're not supposed to take it. Mm. What was it? What's Bruce Arians' famous term? What does he say, Skip? No what? <laughs> no what? No risk it, no biscuit. Okay. The Carson he Palmer has the most big time throws in the league. Skip. Nobody has more big time let throws. You, oh. he, he, vertical. He is throwing verticals like crazy. Skip, let me ask you a question. <laughs> If you go back and look at Carson Palmer, if you go back and look at Big Ben, if you go back and look at uh, uh, Andrew Luck, how many times did they throw to the running backs? How many times did they throw to the tight ends? Mm. That's not Bruce Arians' offense. Bruce Arians' offense is bombs over Baghdad. Mm. Throw the ball over your head. Is that what he's doing? No. Tom, Mike Evans had two touchdowns, two catches for two yards against Tom, Denver. Tom Brady's depth of throw through four games is almost equal to Jameis Winston, and he was bombs away last year. It's 11.4 average per attempt to 12.5 for Jameis. It's in the same ballpark. He's 21st he's, in yards he's per attempt. He's not going to 
he, he's not going to turn the ball over like Jameis did. He's not going to take sacks Still, like Jameis did. What about the pick sixes? Mm -hmm. He looked like Jameis. He threw two pick sixes. And four, and the both pole. to Justin Watson, who's a brand new receiver, and I don't love him. And I don't think Tom should be throwing out routes to Jameis Winston. Okay. But speaking of out routes, there are things called deep curls that are the equivalent to me of out routes. And if we could see one he threw this past Sunday against the Chargers, this is in the third quarter while they're making their frantic comeback. He, he throws this from the opposite hash all the way across the field to Mike Evans. And it's a deep curl. It's not to the, all the way to the sideline. But tell me you don't see this same old Tom Brady arm strength on that. I'm yeah. sorry. What, what arm strength is he? I told you, I see no loss, no decline of arm strength. He's throwing that from the near hash to the far sideline. Goodness. I'm sorry. That is outside the numbers. And I, I, we don't have time. I could show you a dozen of those where he did complete it. And I'm saying, what are you talking about? It's all inside the numbers. And he's throwing. I, I showed you. I, I told you. I raved about little Scotty Miller in the offseason. You laughed at me. And now he's become one of his favorite targets. Yeah. And as they made their, their desperate comeback from 24 to 7 down, the, the, the drive that put them over the top that got them back in the lead is to Scotty Miller. There's a bomb to Scotty Miller. Is that arm strength? Is that accuracy? And then he comes right back and hits him right over the middle for a touchdown from 30 yards. I don't know. It, it's like he's doing everything he used to do in New England. He, he looks like the same guy to me at age 43. He, he looked like the guy that last year was 20th. It was 19th in QBR. He's mm. 20th this year. Yeah. He looks like a guy that was 21st in completion percentage. Yeah. He's 22nd this year. Mm. He's 21st in yards per attempt. He was 20th last year. Mm. So what has changed? As Stephen Ruiz concludes in his piece, Brady's brilliance is what made that system work in New England, and it's having the same effect in Tampa. Yeah, but I mean, it just is. Cam, I mean, Cam yeah. got the system was going yeah. good, too. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. I'm not skip. This is not, look, I'm not saying Brady is not playing well, but to say Brady is running Bruce Arians' offense as it was, as it, as it was intended to be run is disingenuous. Okay, but the they, routes are all Arians' routes. Skip. Everybody runs the same routes. They might call them different things and put the emphasis, the stress on where the ball needs to go. Mm -hmm. In New Orleans offense, everybody's running, running the running back on the curl, the rim route, and the, the arrow or the uh, angle. Mm -hmm. But some teams emphasize throwing it to the running back, throwing mm -hmm. it to the tight ends more than others. Some quarterbacks do. So Tom Brady is throwing up skip. What we've seen is a gradual progression from 15 balls mm -hmm. to the tight ends and running back in week mm -hmm. one to here we are 24 in week four. Mm. So that's not that's not Bruce Arians' offense. Has he had Gronk? Not much. No. Mm. Bruce Arians' offense said, I don't throw the mm. ball. But Cameron, how many, he threw a touchdown to Cameron Break. Mm -hmm. O.J. Howard, before he suffered his season in the injury, yep. had a couple of touchdowns. Mm -hmm. So for me, Skip, what I, all I'm saying is, is that to say that this is Bruce Arians' offense in its, in its purity is not true. Tom Brady, it might be called, might be calling Bruce's terms, but his emphasis is throwing the ball to the running backs and to the tight end, mm. not pushing the ball down the field, mm. getting those big chunk plays. You believe you said to, uh, Tom Brady's going to average what? 30, 30 of what? Of 5,000, 5,000 yards. He ain't mm. getting no 5,000 yards. Mm. That never happened. Mm. Well, you said that he's going to be throwing a little underneath option routes to the slot receiver. 24. Really? Huh? A tight to end, the slot running receiver? Back. Look at my guy. Uh, look at my guy. Oh, A Rod. Who's the slot receiver? Look at my guy. A Rod. Uh, look at what guy. A Rod. What yeah. he doing? Oh, uh, Russ. And Russ, we trust. Yep. Hmm. Aaron Rodgers has been to one Super Bowl that's, ten that's, years that's, that's, ago. That's We're not doing that. My, my guy is six out of nine, and I think he's got a real shot at getting to another one. Right now. Right now. Mm hmm. Who's playing the better of the, of the position right now? Hmm. Well, one guy's starting fresh with w coming out of a pandemic with no preseason games and very little offseason work. My guy's coming wow. out of a pandemic, and uh, they wanted to get rid of him. Yep, they uh, did. Okay, then. And they may still want to. They, they, that's, they, they go, if you want to yeah. get rid of a guy with 11 touchdowns mm. and no picks? This and, guy's 43 years of age. you got to give it up to him. I'm giving up to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Huh. Skip, you see. you. Yeah. I mean, why you don't want to just – you saw that Monday night. You saw it. You've been seeing – he did you a favor. Mm. He went to New Orleans and did something for you. Mm. And you don't want to give him credit for that? Did you see what the Chargers defense did to Patrick Mahomes? Do you realize it was 17-9 Chargers you, going into the fourth quarter? That's right. what they did to him. Oh, 
17 to 9. Yeah. And guess what they did? They had you down 24-7. Yep, and here oh. he came. Oh, and here he came. Yeah. And my guy, oh, you know my guy hadn't thrown an interception yet. Uh, who had the better game against the Chargers defense, Brady or Mahomes? Help me out. My guy, hold up. My guy was on the road. Mm. Your guy was at home. Okay. Yeah, in front of 14 fans. Uh, no, 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 no. Y'all had like, y'all had like, four, y'all had like 12,000. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, you had. It's Florida. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They don't get them. Florida. Mm. Look at G, G, look at uh, Jerry World. They had 25,000. Now they have 25,000, <laughs> but they don't care. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. But they have a little more space coming. to set. Your day coming. Well, uh, hey, my day might be coming Thursday night because he's, his receivers are decimated. Now. Oh, oh, Nikki Foles. Huh? Oh, Nicky Foles. No, but Br- Brady's oh, not going to have. Nicky Foles. Godwin may not have uh, Mike Evans. Man, Mike Evans be out there limping and be limping down the field for 100 yards. He yeah. need to stop. Ain't nothing wrong with Mike Evans. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.